makes it through episode last day on survival today we return boys and girls ladies and gentlemen today we are back we have found enough stuff to bribe these very greedy raiders and unfortunately we need to call them back because the, apparently our base smells like poop because no one is interested in raiding it within like the past couple of days i know i'm complaining about not being raided is the world upside down no i just want my revenge raids because they're raids of the free variety and free raids are better because if we get disappointed from a free raid it's slightly less disappointing than the other types of raids but at the very least we're gonna be called in the raid is here they might have some quests we'll be able to knock out but we are gonna be heading out upon a marvelous adventure of a raid today not to mention we gotta go ahead and knock the blind one down a notch and oh 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 do we have some good stuff we might be able to do today i'm just gonna go ahead and skippy on through a couple of those we should be able to get these hatches crafted up and maybe we'll have enough hard mode items for a floppiness to get that but only time will tell for now let us begin heading over to the bunker since we are prepared ready to pop open the green and the yellow crates and even turn in a couple of blueprints and maybe get like the one blueprint that we're missing because we're missing i think like the scar grip blueprint that's the main one and as we we are doing that i want to go ahead and talk about a little something boom what you guys are seeing right here right now is the roadmap to last day on earth survival this is now a rough a rough outline of what to expect out of the game moving forward this is a little bit this is from like a month or two months ago or so but all that affects is really the check marks and the stage that we're in so in the picture it looks like like stage three is the last one with a check mark but currently we have actually just completed stage five meaning the game is moving towards the step six now this doesn't mean that that's necessarily going to always be happening super in order because i mean one example that we have seen happen out of orders if you guys take a glance at number eight some of the radio tower stuff has already been incorporated you guys can see adding friends chat radio tower building for chat etc etc but it is still a very good rough outline to follow so i I wanted to utilize this and utilize some of the information we have seen from Kafia in the past to go ahead and see what the next update we can expect is now there is always a chance where it's some sort of a surprise update something like the convoy event but usually that doesn't happen and for the most part the updates have definitely been following this outline so I think we can get ourselves a very good clue as to what to expect next now what I was saying we have gone through stage number five and we are working towards stage number six where there are three things chilling over there the ability to loot enemies over in the multiplayer area along with the power armor inventory the weapon modification skills aka the weapon mods that actually have an active skill associated with them that you'll be able to use via like tapping a button on some sort of weapon or something like that or like tapping a button on screen when you have that certain modification equipped and the new weapon m416 with skills and mods now there is something very uh important i want you guys to notice about this is that at least from these three that we are seeing neither of these seem to be super huge updates you know these kind of seem to be like relatively okay so they do make sense that these will be coming within the 1.9 series of updates and then via what we're looking it appears that number seven is going to be kind of something from that is most likely going to be the next major update what i believe is going to happen is that update 1.10 and or 2.0 although there's a great chance that it does end up being 1.10 is going to be the atv and swamp location since that is something that they're working towards that is something that they have honestly started teasing a couple of weeks back so the timelines do match up and that will probably be bundled in with the new recipes as well with stuff like the maximum level backpack since we will be getting new resources from those new locations which will thus lead to new recipes however the sub of being included there as well is a little interesting because i don't know if that means if they are maybe aiming to put the suburb along with those two in some sort of massive bundle because the two points in number seven the atv and the new recipe one those make perfect sense to be bundled together which is kind of why i'm bringing in a question if they're trying to bundle the suburbs into that update as well or if that might be coming within the next series of updates the 1.10 series for example but i wanted to bring that to attention because that is honestly the next thing on this menu that makes sense to be the next major update change now we are currently in update 1.9.4 from what we have seen in the past the way that major version numbers tend to go what do i mean when i say that i mean going from like update 1.8 to 1.9 and not like going from 1.8.4 to 1.8.5 
that's what I'm talking about. From what we're seeing over there in point six, it appears that those would make the most sense for those to be kind of the rest of the 1.9 series of updates as the ATV slash swamp slash new recipes are gearing up to be the next major thing. Why does that make a lot of sense? Well, think of it this way, right? So sometimes they will sprinkle in a couple of those like kind of like minor bug fix updates right within like a certain series of updates. But those are always a side serving to the main course within that series. Of course, the biggest is always whenever that bigger number changes when 1.7 becomes 1.8 when 1.8 becomes 1.9 that is when the biggest overhauls do happen and from what we are seeing the next big overhaul is going to be in that point seven because even if it's the suburb instead of the atv and swamp that is a lot more massive than what we're seeing in point six so it does make sense that those three things in point six will be what populates the rest of the 1.9 series of updates because we have not gotten a improvement to sector seven and what is going on there in a while that seems to happen kind of at its own rate most likely because the development team is different from multiplayer since that does require a different set of skills to be able to do networking code do all that multiplayer stuff i know from some of my computer science experience over in college that that is definitely a different set of skills although there's obviously some stuff in common you are going to need people that are more familiar with a multiplayer environment so that's kind of being worked upon in its own pace and that has been kind of being added and sprinkled in intermittently between updates so it does make sense for us to go ahead and get one of those within the 1.9 a series of updates and that is looking like a very cool one dude especially if we can actually gain the ability to loot and have an inventory to the power armor maybe even extract some stuff from sector 7 back uh, back at home because there is a, what appears to be a system in place for that in the future that's going to be very cool but in addition to that there is of course the weapon modification skill something that has been being teased for a while and then the new weapon that does need to get added in the m416 with skills and mods now we do know something about the m416 and that is that the skills slash mods associated with it i believe are going to have something to do with sector 7 i believe finding the mods for it will have to do with sector 7 so the m416 will kind of be a little bit more sector 7 centric so it does make sense for that to come after we actually have the ability to do looting over in that area or even for that to be bundled together in an update where we can even loot the enemies in the power armor and put it in the inventory extract it all that type of jazz and it is saying the new weapon m416 with the skills and mods meaning that they, when they do add in the m416 they do want it to have skills available with it as well so for that to happen the weapon modification skills do need to come first pretty much narrowing it down to two main candidates for what the next update will be either the multiplayer version the loot in enemies and power armor inventory or some sort of weapon modification skills now we haven't seen a whole ton being teased regarding the weapon modification skills so that is not a promising sign and on the multiplayer side of things we also haven't seen much of getting teased but multiplayer is definitely not as teased as some of the single player stuff that they are working on since multiplayer does require more stuff to get it to work since it does require like multiplayer networking all that type of jazz so via what we know i would say the best thing that we can hope for this next update to be at least until kafir does decide to reveal some info because currently they have not exactly begun teasing anything super obvious for the next update so this document is the best clue that we can get for that and i would say the things that we should stop preparing for is either some sort of multiplayer update since the 1.9 series has yet to have a multiplayer update and so far i think 1.8 actually had a couple of multiplayer improvements and we are due for one since we haven't had one in a while and then of course weapon modification skills since that was added in 1.9 and there are still certain recipes that we cannot craft certain blueprints we cannot find because those mods are going to be very very special and unique and if we go back to number seven i mean there is the suburb stuff over there but we haven't really seen much even like in a dev stream like at least in the dev stream we have seen the atv and swamp locations kind of being worked on as a work in progress we have not seen much in the way of the suburb which is going to work kind of similar to the grim soul dungeon where it is procedurally generated so honestly what the update plan is looking like is either going to be the weapon modification skill or the loot and enemy and power armor inventory coming up next then after that i think those two are going to be the next two main ones and then after that we will get the m416 which will have to do with the active skill mods and with the ability to do some sort of looting in the multiplayer zone to potentially actually get those blueprints actually give us a reason to go over to that area and then finally the next version number will be topped off with the atv and swamp location in 1.10 and or 2.0 not really and i don't think it can be 1.10 and 2.0 but i hope that information was helpful to y'all and hopefully we can get all aboard the hype train because i oh my god my voice gave out on that Woo!
Woo! Been talking a little bit too much. Talking with Comcast about trying to get my internet fixed. Spoiler alert, still is not fixed. But I am counting down the days till I go back to college because there I've never had internet issues there. Only noise complaint issues. But moving into a new place this time. So hopefully those issues are permissible. But do not persist but it's gonna wrap it up for that information that i did have to share and i can't wait to it y'all i gotta go ahead and put into that i'd love to hear whatever y'all got also the book of gold phone today is gonna be double o six one o if that's our date by the time using it make sure to check the comment section down below for an up-to-date version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here known as the snipe gang but i'd love to hear you guys' own thoughts and inputs and what you think the update is hopefully my reasoning does make sense i'm trying to use some stuff that we have seen in the past from kafir and general patterns now obviously Obviously, those are patterns they don't necessarily need to follow them but that is the best bet we have towards what the next thing will contain and the uh, either way man if we get some looting in multiplayer or if we get the ability to use some sh freaking skill mods because there's a skill mod for the shotgun that i have definitely been eyeing for quite a while either way i'm gonna be a happy camper but let me know what you guys think your own hypothesis is your guys hypothesis on top of mine any that type of jazz in that comment section down below and everybody that comes for third of the way it's what we and Tom Donna at two sessions Play store, give a card, a giveaway. All you gotta do is well as make sure like button, make sure you subscribe. That's you win on today's video. Y'all go to Instagram every single last day of the video. Wednesday, there was our pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video, and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off doing a giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to get pistols like this. No, I kid, I kid. Unfortunately, subscribing will not give you pistols in the last day on earth, but maybe it'll give you good luck. I, I don't know how luck works, man. I'm just, I'm just the person trying to utilize it to uh, get good stuff and so far i got a pistol so that's kind of all right but make sure to do that to make sure you are notified of let's go we got an engine part along with some pistols and some meds too but make sure you're notified of every chance y'all got to go ahead and enter on into the giveaway through the form of the daily last day on earth videos not to mention the absolute latest of last day on earth information i can spread to your beautiful eyes and faces the latest of last day on earth update gameplay as soon as that comes out so y'all know what to expect y'all know how to come prepared and hopefully y'all know how to beat the bejesus of whatever last day on earth has to throw at us not to mention many other dope survival games we are checking out on the channel both now and in the future all in all sounds like a dope investment to me and i'm not even an investment banker that's that that's what they do right actually i don't think investment bankers subscribe to youtube channels but uh, i'm about to start a brand new business at this rate baby also you know i just realized this stuff is looking like it's going to be breaking very soon and we might want to go back topside and get ourselves some of that military armor because i'm not trying to fight blind one naked blind one is kind of a uh, doozy because <laughs> he does a lot of damage i also i'll see some questions regarding the blind one actually why do i only shoot him when he charges into the wall uh, in case you guys haven't faced against the blind one the reason for that is because after he has just charged into a wall he will actually be a little bit weaker and he will take uh, i'm gonna leave that over i'm gonna leave a couple of these things up here because i do need to come back and want to leave some room for the hard mode items we'll be able to collect but yeah after the blind one runs into a wall he is a lot weaker and a lot more susceptible to damage so if you want to save the durability on your guns, that's usually a better way of doing it because then you ensure whenever you shoot your gun, it's always doing more damage. But on the flip side, that does mean you do have to kind of put your armor, you do have to put your medical supplies more at risk and utilize them a little bit more. But at the very least, we got a couple of lads and lassies dead and let the dog tag. Ooh, a collection begin uh why don't we go ahead and chow down oh and some of that beef jerky to get our hydration up a solid amount i'm just gonna keep on using the swat actually mm, I'm, I'm gonna use this armor for now we can hot swap into the swat armor during our battle because we do have some very powerful fully modified shotguns to uh, hopefully help us out in our strudel uh, in our struggle when we do go up against him and hopefully that will make the process a little bit quicker a little bit less painful uh, hopefully more painful for him well actually it might be less painful because if you think about it we shoot him less so at the end of the day uh, I, he might appreciate the fact that we didn't have to shoot him as much to kill him you know just the what is it like maybe I, I don't know exactly how much but like 20 shotgun blasts for example versus something like okay I'm, I'm gonna see maybe if I could oh whoa get him before he blows up yeah dude if your pistol's fast enough you can pretty reliably do it but it gets my heart pumping every single time you know what's gonna get my heart pumping later today that raid we gotta head on out to and mm, 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 you know we are gonna have a fan freaking fantastic time with that uh okie dokie that guy I don't really have a rifle to deal with the turret so I guess we do need to skip out on that chest mm. 
14 medkits should be enough. Let's just put a pistol over here as the backup for the toxic spitters that we got to shoot with our pistol because our pistol is a little bit susceptible to breaking already under halfway durability. And of course, we, these guys don't decide to drop anything. Appreciate it, dudes. Not like I was hoping to get stuff from you and maybe a floppy disk, but if this is the way y'all are going to act, I don't know. I don't know how our hopes are looking. We got one thing over there and... That is about it. So, hokey dokey, hunky dory. Not what I was hoping for, but I guess it's what we got to go with. Let's eat some beans till we're back up to 100 on the health. Let's get rid of them tin cans. Ain't too interested in those at the time being. Avoid of that turret. And hello, blind one. Your best buddy, Papa Star, hath returned. But for real, dude, I just want to know. I just want them to start, like, officially teasing what is going to be in the next one. Like I was saying, we have a general clue of what the next update should be. It All signs point to it being one of those two whether it be looting in the multiplayer area or in that and then honestly after the phase six is done we are pro after those like three updates left in phase six we are most likely going to be entering the next major version given just what we've known in the past given the fact that the atv and swamp update is going to be massive and the last time we had a map expansion it was also uh whatchamacallit also ended up being a new major version number but that hasn't happened since 1.6 so it's something i'm looking forward to doing also we got to give these back to the uh workbench or this i think we have to give it to the workbench by the specialist we give them blueprints and then it gives us stuff in return pretty good deal yeah well hopefully it'll, give, it'll just give us more blueprints that we probably already have which is the poopy part. But okie dokie, let's get a little bit less poop-tastic and let's get to pooping. All right, because I have some poop. I got to spread all over you, blind one. That, that really sounds weird. All right, that's not exactly what I was looking for, but uh, my computer decided to crash in the middle of the blind one fight. And here we are. Very, uh, very naked. Thanks, Gabe. Pre appreciate that. Really? really appreciate you doing that at literally the worst time possible so currently our body is actually trapped within the blind one fight and uh well I'm, I'm guessing it is because currently we're pretty naked so our body has to be trapped so i hope it is i'm hoping to get that stuff back so uh was, wasn't expected to have to deal with this but luckily i do have some shotguns over here we got to find some armor to redo this with uh i really hope my body actually did stay there though i i I don't know, man. That, that's weird because I did have to crash the game. Not I did have to, but the game crashed on me. Uh, so hopefully my, my, my stuff is there still. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prepare for uh, the, hopefully the greatest comeback story from a crash ever because this is not what I was looking forward to. Oh, oh dear God. All right, so I'll just go ahead and put some finishing touches over here on the shotguns that will be accompanying us for us. Uh, we are not playing games this time because our body is at risk. I am not trying to lose the stuff I had. I had a military backpack. I had some hard mode items, like all in all. That's definitely some stuff I would very much so appreciate getting back. So shotgun rain is coming out to play. Ooh, we need medical supplies too. As I was saying, shotgun rain is coming out to play and coming out to get some revenge on the blind one dude if that's what it takes the blind one to take me down i don't appreciate that blind one the blind one can't take us out legit so we ordered a tactical strike on my computer because i am playing on an emulator uh th th thanks thanks blind one appreciate that i hope you're enjoying the loot i'm coming back to kill you for it all right you ain't getting away that easily oh no 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 i brought even more shotgun rain than we did last time okay last time i brought one with less durability this time there should be more than enough shotgun to take down the blind one like, ah how does that happen man i really hope not too much footage dude oh my god i'm gonna be so mad if my footage corrupted if you guys don't know, I use a recording software when I record on the emulator. And, uh, well, because it did, you know, not exactly close in the most normal way, I haven't yet checked if that footage still exists. I really hope that it does, because that would be even poopier if it doesn't. <laughs> I, I want today to be a fan for a fantastic day, man, but this, this ain't look, it's, it's not looking promising so far. But we do have 4C4 to mess around with at that raid that we do need to deal with a little bit later. So at the very least, we have that to look forward to. But I have a whole sweet serving of revenge to look forward to serving my friend over in uh, floor number three. Yeah, blind one, I'm coming for you, bud. I'm coming. Honky donkey, artichokies. I'm back, blind one. Where'd you stash my body? I'm not see- Bruh. Bruh. Okay, okay, it's up against that wall at the very least. Bless up for that. 
bless up for that. All right, blind one. Let's just, just, just do, do your thing over here. All right, I, I'm, I'm lying. I'm playing right by my dead body. This has, this probably, this has to be freaking out my person in game or something, dude. Just chilling next to your dead body. But ooh, my guy's doing a ton of critical damage. She wants some sweet, sweet revenge for what the blind one hath done. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's cheeky, man. That's cheeky. I didn't expect you stupid solo blind one. I know you're desperate to stop dying at my hand. But listen, if you gotta go about it that way, it ain't gonna end up well. That's when the firepower comes back even more powerful than ever before. No, 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 no. No feast for you. All right, you don't get to die on a full stomach. You are dying on as empty of a one as possible. Unless you get a little bit of a snack in. Let you get like 10 health in so you maybe think, you know, like, oh, at least Star will kill me or maybe I'll be able to heal. No, 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 no. I gotta tease the blood when I'm playing psychological games with this schmuck because that's what he did with me. Oh, what's that? You want some snack? No, no, no. You get a little taste. You get a little taste because the only thing you're gonna be tasting from here on out is uh, this, this thing known as death. That's what you get for doing with that to my body, all right? Don't you dare desecrate me like that ever again, blind one. Listen, I have even more powerful weapons I can bring. I don't know if I actually have more powerful weapons, but I was trying to intimidate him, so play along, guys. But yeah, dude, I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I'll, I'll bring the double shotgun. Like, dude, that freaking shotgun active skill mod, when that comes, ooh, and that's why I'm so excited for the active skill, dude. And seriously, this next update, given the fact that it pretty much has to be one of those two things that I listed, shotgun raid to you. Let's go, dang, right on getting some bones yeah you better be giving me something extra good for the troubles i had to go to with today's shenanigans oh i didn't mean to do that okay well we do have the swat armor i'm not really interested i'm definitely more interested in certain other objects uh, i'll pick these things up mm. all right so that swat armor is about to break and i only have so much inventory room so worst case i'll come back for that but given the fact that that thing was a little bit more uh broke than usual actually pretty broke that thing was barely having any durability left but still it is swat armor so we might come back for that in my free time but with the blind one murdered after shenanigans he dared attempt to pull on me it's time for us to go back and attempt to pull some shenanigans on an unsuspecting raid and maybe, maybe acquire ourselves a little, uh, a little bit of the C4 as well from a floppy disk if we have the proper materials. But five, four, and four, I don't know how much that's gonna be able to push the needle. Only time will tell. But yeah, dude, given the fact that pretty much all signs point to the next update, either being the multiplayer inventory update or the fact that we are going to have our active skill mods, I am kind of crossing my fingers with active skill mod. I'd love to have that because there's an active skill for the shotgun and uh, I love shotguns. So I think y'all can put two and two together there. Hello, specialist. How do you do? Mm, there's uh, there, there, there's hope. May yeah, no. Okay. Why does that? It's gonna be one of those days. First, my game crashes on me, then this. I see how it is. I see how it is. That's okay. I didn't want the floppy disk today anyway, specialist. I'll just come back next time and get it as easy peasy as squeezy some lemonade. I, I, I was trying to rot. Those were not good rhymes. I apologize for baking your ears listening to those words in those combinations. Uh, let's take what we can out of that. And all in all, uh, aside from the fact the blind one used some cheaty cheaty tactics to take us down. Honestly, it was probably some computer problems. So I don't even know if I can 100% blame. I'm, I'm blaming something because that was not me that I died at the hands of. But it's okay. The blind one's dead. He's in his grave. Except I didn't dig him a grave. His grave is just the room that he's always been locked in. Actually, very sad when you think about it. That I'm sorry, bud. But hey, you, you brought it upon yourself. Maybe one day, you know, if you treat me right when I walk into that room, I will give you a proper burial somewhere. But at the same time, he literally comes back alive every two days. So they're doing some kind of like reanimation experiments on him in that room or something. And ooh, 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 those are all in the middle of nowhere. And I'm a little bit more interested in getting this raid popping. So we are heading back to that. But dude, I seriously can't wait. Mm. These next couple of updates and what they're slated to add in, man, they all seem super promising because active skills are going to be huge, especially in the context of multiplayer since getting active skills to work insane. Like, they kind of already exist in multiplayer, but uh, that is going to be something that they do want to work towards in single player as well. So once they have that kind of consistent across everything, because the power armor, in a way, does have active skills because, like, you have that headshot thing you can use with your Gauss cannon that you decide to utilize. But, yeah, dude, finally having an inventory over there is definitely going to be a huge step. Having the ability to do 
active skills. Active skills are going to be a huge game changer. Although they do have to come in the form of certain attachments. But even like the spear dude, the ability to throw that thing down the line, that is going to be super dope. And then, of course, a new gun. I like new guns. I like new things in general. And then the ATV and swamp. And I'm guessing the suburb is going to come after that just because the suburb definitely, from what we've seen, does not seem as ready as the swamp. And the swamp seems like a massive enough of an update to not need suburbs as well. Oh, God dang it. I forgot to... Dang it! I, I knew I was forgetting something, so I, I I guess next time I will turn those things in. My my brain on autopilot is a very, very dangerous thing, I tell you what. So let me go ahead and stash those for the next rainy day we have. But I'm gonna go ahead, get to inventory, organizing, and uh, talking to y'all in just a gif. And here we are, ready to whip up exactly everything we are gonna need to make these raiders satisfied. Hello, Iron Hatch, and welcome from your raw resource form to the mystical place known as my inventory quite the welcoming home i know and then we're gonna go ahead and craft a bunch of hatchets and with that last hatchet crafted up we are looking pretty good the question is what are we gonna be bringing also if you guys hear loud noise in the background there's a storm going on so hopefully my power doesn't go out but give it how today's been going so far would not surprise me i tell you what let me just go ahead and put the rest of these goodies away where they might be getting some more usage down the line and with a little bit of hydration to top off with, I'll actually bring that over to the watering fountain and then a bunch of food I'm gonna chow down upon and a little bit more that I'm gonna be bringing myself. I'd say we are ready for the raid after we get this pistol modified up to be in the proper raiding fashion and we do need to kind of refashion the shotguns because with the current sight they are not guaranteed to do 80 damage and during a raid you do not want a gun that does 77 damage. That is honestly one of the worst things you could ask for because a lot of the enemies have multiples of 80 and or close to multiples of 80. The one area where it might be okay is when it comes to toxic abominations because 77 it's pretty close to 75 and 70 times 75 times four is enough to take one of those down and ooh, 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 ooh. let's get the pistol popping off as well and with a little bit of pistol drizzle it's a go along with uh, the remnants of the shotgun rain we got to mess around with the time has come for today's raid all right we got that stuff put away we got the beans in our inventory we got the rest of the food we need we'll just go ahead and utilize all the low durability stuff first and with the 4c4 at our disposal the time is near for an exciting raid we do just need to go ahead and fast forward through that since we only did craft up four hatchets let's get that completed up and hockey dokey hearted chokies into the motorcycle we go with a faux c4 and a little bit of gas too but we do still have room to go ahead and stack some gas as well so that's good and do mm, honestly i wouldn't mind finding some maybe weapon type parts although i'm not sure we can find stuff like factory parts and stuff i do still want to continue stockpiling weapon parts that's honestly a good thing that in general y'all might be Ooh, it's a good sign it's not just a generic player name this could be a good type of base. It's a relatively okay good sign, but that's going to be some good stuff to start stockpiling uh, because that's going to be coming within the next two updates pretty much. And at least given the multiplayer update, if that comes up next, I don't think we really need any specific items for that. But given the weapon skill mod attachment, it is going to be a good idea to have uh, some resources chilling. So you are prepared to craft up those mods when the time does come. But uh, hello, my raid how? are you doing today so far okay 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 it's not looking like one of those massive bases that takes up the entirety of the map it is looking like little baby base okie dokie well ain't ain't not happy we work towards this <laughs> god dang it fam okay here's the here's, hey, hey you never know can be really good stuff within here and at the very bright side on the very very bright side there aren't any stone walls here so it, at least we don't need to worry about using stone i could definitely get behind that let's see if we can't break through one of these just save some of the iron hatchets for later dear god that is those are some horrifying noises i'm hearing in the background and hey we have gained entry hello these types of chests tend to have the best stuff from what i've seen so far will that trend continue nope no as if that's the best stuff then when this this ain't shaping up to be good. There is still that room over there that might end up having the best stuff, depending. Yeah, it's, it's okay. 
could be better uh but that is entirely protected by level two walls it looks like so maybe maybe oh okay okay we got the electronic circuit we also got a ton of angry people coming our way so don't mind me while i shotgun raid all over their faces yeah what up get over here you want you want you want a closer look at shotgun raid okay shotgun raid wants a closer look at all of your schmucks as well especially that dude's legs that dude's legs got murdered and then let's just go ahead and kite so we can do some damage over to that guy and i'm just gonna punch these dudes to death what can i say like to finish them up a close and personal see ya hit him with the one two sucker punch except i don't know can you I, isn't a sucker punch like a surprise punch i don't really know if you can hit someone with a sucker punch one two because i feel like by the second punch they'd be like bruh I, I know you're punching me already, but I'm not a punchologist, you know? Maybe a fruit punchologist, but that's about the extent to my punchology. Uh, I love me some fruit punch, man. Mm -mm -mm. Although it is a little bit too sweet for my taste nowadays. I, I like to, I don't know, I, I don't like having too much sweet stuff, but that might also be me just trying to, you know, try to be a little bit on, on that healthier side. Although I, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for Dr. Pepper every once in a while. Pretty hard to deny that. What you got? Oh, well, ain't that a disappointment? Well, uh, that, that is the raid that we got today. Wow. Uh, like I'm saying, man, the system, the system, the rating system is flawed. You know why we got such a trash base? Usually, we didn't, we didn't used to get trash bases like this since the new update. The reason is there was an anniversary event that happened before they decided to refresh the uh, base databases or the database of bases, which kind of like holds which bases we are capable of rating. And they kind of, for balance reasons, they do want each base to have something valuable. Unfortunately, everyone got an electronic circuit for free and electronic circuits are stupidly easier to get now because you can just recycle into them given like stuff like phones and stuff so uh the game thinks this is still a valuable raid this has definitely not been a valuable raid god dang it why is this oh you know what yeah i'm, I'm chopping down your wood you don't just I'm, I'm taking your wood too bro I'm taking everything i can because man how dare you throw this type of stuff in my face man Ah, why does this must happen? I I don't know. I guess I could take the tr signal transmitter too. Um, our shotguns broke, so we could go ahead and actually equip the pistolas. We could put those over there. That's another two inventory slots. Like at least we got some red tickets. That's that's kind of nice. Um, I guess I could chop this down to that much. Some of the next horde, though. Honestly, I'm not really even trying to deal with this next horde. There's nothing else worth even breaking into after I break that wooden woodworking bench. This is uh. I was definitely expecting something a little bit more developed, but hey, that's the price you pay for uh, deciding to raid. You, you end up with stuff like this. I really feel like the raiders should be giving us better stuff since they're experienced raiders, but I feel like I've talked about this enough. Something has got to be done, though, because working towards a raid just to be greeted with something like this might be one of the most demoralizing things ever, especially if you're not doing, like, daily raiding like I am, right? If you guys, like, are just doing a raid, like, once a week or something, you know, just due to, like, time constraints or resource constraints, that, that'd be pretty, pretty demoralizing to get something like this. So hopefully Kafir decides to have like some sort of revamp to the system that maybe at least values electronic circuits a little bit less because i think that might be the best fix because i'm telling you that's that's the way it is because if you think about it what's the worst raid we've gotten either engine parts or an electronic circuit there are definitely worse bases out there just i don't think they're in the database because the system the algorithm doesn't value them enough and they do want to give us a somewhat fair raid but they need to update the fact that electronic circuits are not as good as they once were they're still useful but they're not as ridiculously rare dude back in the day oh oh, oh my god God, back in the day, electronic circuits were a doozy. You could only get them through floppy disks. You had to hope you didn't get an infected box because if you got an infected box, not, nothing mattered because you had to get electronic circuits first to finish your acid bath. It was it was a brutal cycle, man, but uh, the brutality has calmed down a little bit since then. But uh, unfortunately, the game still thinks electronic circuits are something that are almost impossible to find because that's the only way I can make sense of us getting bases like that. And the worst raids always just having one electronic circuit and I've never come across a raid. Maybe, mm, have I? I don't know. Maybe if you guys have come across a worse raid, feel free to let me know. But, oh, well, uh, I should have put that in my... Ooh, yeah, the raiders are going to probably be asking for a good amount of stuff, right? Yeah, they know we got the electronic circuit, so 
we're gonna have to do some haggling with them i'll i'll convince them to take some aluminum wire or something but with that said with that that is gonna wrap it up for this episode of last day out of earth survival again sorry these videos have been going up a little bit later lately it's just comcast has been I, dude i don't know I, the, the only thing that makes sense at this point is they're throttling my upload because i upload so much because i the uploads have been ridiculously slower now and it is pure shenanigans but it's gonna wrap it up for this episode of last day out of survival best of luck to you guys and gals get the chopper gas tank and join the chopper squadron can't wait to what y'all gotta say about the topic of the next raid and which one you think it'll be out of the two updates or maybe if you guys have other reasoning to think it might be uh, something besides the main two that i kind of pushed forward to make the most sense but best luck to you guys and gals get it your puppas and level it up to the true friend perk so you have a furry friend to help you out with not to mention getting the best blueprints you can building the best attachments for the best guns you got doing the raids protecting your base leveling up your personal skills defeating the bosses of the game getting past the multiplayer wall and most important of all having yourselves an absolutely fan for a fantastic time all throughout but that's gonna do it for me thank you guys a whole ton for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to the next one see ya